Local retailers are busy checking out your groceries and your vacation necessities. Just ask a store manager. We stop by the Walmart on Britain Parkway. Oh, they've got the list of what I need for that weekend trip, whether it's the cooler, whether it's the food to have for the kids on the way up, or the items they're going to need when they get there. The vacation planning for many busy families has focused on staying closer to home. I, maybe I'm not going to get to Myrtle Beach this year, but, you know, gosh, we haven't been up to Lake Erie in a long time. And but for a short trip, you might not think to prepare as much. Tamara Brown is with the Ohio Division of Tourism and Travel and tells us amusement parks will be a favorite destination with rides that will literally take your money. Is they collect thousands of dollars in coins that have fallen out of people's pockets. As you can imagine, when you go loop the loop, you know, if, if your pockets are too loose and you've got coins there, uh, they also collect a lot of cameras, a lot of um, eyewear. So buy a cheap pair of cargo shorts before you go and button in those items. Or put a disposable camera on your shopping list so you don't lose that expensive one. Another idea for your summer vacation, buy a watertight box that floats. You can get one of these for as little as three or four bucks, and you could save your cell phone and other valuables. So if you're doing a canoe trip, you're going to one of the water parks, you know, get a couple of those boxes. It's worth the investment. Pass on the flip-flops if you're going to a rockier beach and buy the sunscreen before you go. They're going to charge you so much more. If you go on your trip and you forget it, you're going to pay sometimes two to three times as much for the sun care. Putting some thought into a checklist Release the price at the checkout. Michaela Hunt, NBC4.